The intention for today's Mass is for Barbara Naughton. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. My friends, on this day of Lent, let us call to mind our need for the pardon and peace that the Lord alone can give us. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, we pray, may be so conformed to the Paschal observances that the bodily discipline, now solemnly begun, may bear fruit in the souls of all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, if the wicked man turns away from all the sins he committed, if he keeps all my statutes and does what is right and just, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the crimes he committed shall be remembered against him. He shall live because of the virtue he has practiced. Do I indeed derive any pleasure from the death of the wicked, says the Lord God? Do I not rather rejoice when he turns from his evil way that he may live? And if the virtuous man turns from the path of virtue to do evil, the same kind of abominable things that the wicked man does, can he do this and still live? None of his virtuous deeds shall be remembered because he has broken faith and committed sin. Because of this, he shall die. You say, the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel. Is it my way that is unfair? Or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, 
It is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if the wicked, turning from the wickedness he has committed, does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life, since he has turned away from all the sins that he committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. The word of the Lord. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Hear, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord, more than sentinels wait for the dawn. Let Israel wait for the Lord. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, Whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there remember that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge and the judge will hand you over to the guard and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the greatest short story writers in America in the 20th century was Flannery O'Connor, who happened also to be a fervent Catholic and had a, a great keen sense of humor. On one occasion in an interview, she was being asked, she was asked if she uh, wanted to be a saint. And her answer was, I don't think I could be a saint, but I think I could be a martyr if they killed me quick enough. Well, what she was getting at, what underlay the humor of that answer is the, I, the truth that it's very hard to let go of earthly created goods for the sake of an eternal good, very hard. And she was pointing that out, but the fact is it's, 
it's hard whether you whether you die a young martyr or an elderly confessor of the faith it's not an easy thing to let go of lesser goods for the greatest good in life and that is the underlying truth of this kind of parable that our Lord tells us in the gospel today. The whole idea of offering gifts to God, which is what our Lord is referencing here, really is based on the idea that everything that we have is really a gift and that God wants us to return unto him the gifts that we have received. But because of the effects of original sin, it's very hard for us to do that. The greatest gift he has given us is the gift of forgiveness, and that is the hardest gift of all for us to give to other people. So our Lord is encouraging us to do, to remember what Ezekiel reminds us in the first reading, that God is always ready to forgive if we seek his forgiveness, and that therefore we need to do the same if we want our gifts really to matter. Whether we die a young martyr or an elderly confessor or fall somewhere in between that spectrum, the Lord calls us to give as he has given and to forgive as he has forgiven. Let us pray. We pray for the church, for all its leaders, for all our shepherds and pastors, especially for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Bishop Robert and particularly that the church may continue to learn from the synod on accompaniment and listening, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray that each of us may be able to give and forgive as God has done for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That during this season of Lent, we may grow in that spirit of magnanimous generosity that our Lord calls us to, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all of the sick and the suffering, for the needy and the poor, and for all those who have died or are near death, especially those in our own families and communities, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. And for the intention, and for peace in the Ukraine and throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord and for the intention of today's Mass, for Barbara Naughton, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear the prayers we offer and grant us what we need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. and yours might be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the, May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice from your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, by which in your power and kindness you willed us to be reconciled to yourself and our salvation to be restored through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, Saint Teresa of Avila, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed.
May the holy refreshment of your sacrament restore us anew, O Lord, and cleansing us of old ways, take us up into the mystery of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. As is our custom on Fridays, we invite you to remain with us for a period of 15 minutes of Eucharistic expo exposition, adoration, concluding with benediction.
You have given them bread from heaven, containing in itself all delight. Let us pray. Lord our God, may we always give due honor to the sacramental presence of the Lamb who was slain for us. May our faith be rewarded by the vision of his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy, Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world even to the end of time. Amen. <laughs> 